Hi everybody! Babo is back with a new recipe. We are going to make an artichoke risotto. So, let's see the ingredients. So we have artichokes, fresh artichokes. So those three are for the broth. Carrots, celery and onion. We have a lemon. I will show you why we have a lemon later. We have, of course, riso, risotto. This is rice, this is carnaroli rice. And is uh, one of the best and common for making risotto. This is parmesan cheese. Oh yes. And butter. Salt, extra virgin olive oil, and red wine. Let's go. Okay, so we can start to prepare the broth. So now, fill the pot of water, cold water. So now we are making the broth and we will use carrots and celery. Okay, now it's time to cut our artichokes. So, we are gonna use the lemon. So, why I spread the lemon in the water? Because when you cut the artichokes, after a few minutes, they become black. So the lemon, the acidity of the lemon, help the, the artichokes to keep the color. And I used to leave the lemon inside. Let's clean the artichoke. This is like a rose, okay? So you have to take off the old petals and your target is to find the treasure inside. The treasures are the soft petals, okay? The heart, the heart of the artichoke. Okay, so when petals start to break easy, I think you find you find the target. You have to cut even the head. Look at that. Now is a new rose. So what about the stem? Maybe not everybody knows that is the the stem is so sweet and tasty. So you don't have to throw it away. Even here, you have to find the, the softer part and leave the hardest on the side. So now we are going to cut the artichoke for making our risotto. So I have another bowl with water, I will spread on it the lemon, the other part. Let's go! So, this is the last one. Look how the artichoke, the artichokes keep their color and uh, just the water now is becoming black, but the artichokes are still green. Okay, so now our artichokes are chopped. We can start to cook it. Extra virgin olive oil is the base of Italian dishes. 
cover the, the bottom of the pan. Oh, voila! Ah! So let's rinse the artichoke. And just to be sure, we are clean. And turn on the fire! Broth is boiling. It smells like broth. It's okay. Put this much salt in the broth. We will use the broth water to cook the, the rice. Now it's time to put a little bit of salt. Not a lot, because we already had salt in the broth. So now the wine. I didn't forget the wine. The wine is always here, it's the, my best friend sometimes. Cheers! Keep the wine on the side. Always. Oh my god, guys, it smells so good. I'm so hungry. We are cooking our artichokes and uh, like for 10 to 15 minutes. But I'm gonna have a glass of water just to help the artichoke to don't stick on the pan. You can add water as needed. I'm angry. I'm super angry. It's one o'clock. I'm super hungry. So now it's time to check if our artichokes are ready or not. The hardest part is like the the white, like is uh, the base of the flower. So if start to become soft, it's a good signal. So wait until the, the hardest part are soft and then you have to add 20 minutes for the rice. Super fine! So now it's time to put the rice. And stir. Can you hear that? We are toasting the rice and when you start to hear that sounds like a small stone Okay You can start to add the broth You can turn it off And add a scoop like that Maybe two. Just use the water, okay? Don't use the vegetables. And letting cook the rice, medium fire, for at least 20 minutes. Adding the broth as needed. When the rice absorb all the broth, Never leave the risotto dry, otherwise it sticks on the pan. So you have to be patient and nurse the risotto for at least 20 minutes. So you have to stir it, you have to tell it like nice words and uh, just when you see that his mouth is dry you have to add a little bit of water and liquid you have to nurse him like a baby and will treat you well oh yeah super fine green wow
Two more minutes. I'm adding a little bit of broth more. Mm -hmm. So, turn off the stove and add the butter and the cheese. And let it melt in the risotto. Creaming is so important for the risotto. You can mix all the, um, the artichokes and the rice together. So every grain of rice will be so flavorful. The rice is cooked al dente like the pasta. So the cook needs rest and the risotto too. Like one minute for the risotto. Maybe an hour for me, but uh, I'm fine with so. I need to taste it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh yes, it smells so good. And super fiery. It's time to eat. Buon appetito! Finally, it's time to eat. I was so fiery. <laughs> Cheers! Buon appetito! Salute! Wow! Mm. The artichokes are super soft. You know that? Try to make it like um, on Sundays, when um, your friends come to your house, when, um, when everybody are at you, you can surprise them with an Italian dish with this fucking risotto. Mm. I'm super happy because I was super fine, really, and now I'm super happy.